giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Tyler did hint at it, and I'm sure you guys have all been anxiously waiting. Uh, there was one reveal when we posted all of our social media stuff. There was one, I think, that caught a lot of people's eye. Um, I, I don't think I'm incorrect in saying that. And we're really, um, we're really excited to be able to show these guys, and um, and we're we're super excited that they were able to send us some really really cool stuff. So without further ado, um, Team One 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 Five, the finalist alliance captain of last year's Houston Championships, Team uh, Gluten Free. I'm filming. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right. So that robot was just okay, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think we'll see better. You know? <laughs> wow. I mean, that's that's yeah. honestly what I gotta say. Like, wow, that's insane. Um, yeah. We we've talked. I mean, Crack and Pinion has been a central part. I mean, sorry, it's not Crack and Pinion. I, I keep uh, messing up. Gluten free has been a central part of our show. Right, like we've talked about them in our analysis, we've talked about them in our recaps, we've talked about, we talked with them last year, um, like we interviewed them, everything, and it just amazes me to see the way that they're able to increase that efficiency. Um, mm -hmm. So um, it, it's just it's really really uh, cool for me. So one quick thing, uh, we are uh, we do have our poll, our, our um, straw poll for the Detroit submissions because we've gone through our De Detroit submissions. So that has been put in the chat. Definitely vote for your team over here. Um, we're actually going to be doing our final voting on our um, on the uh, F, uh, uh, first updates now Discord. So um, definitely. So after we get the top three teams from uh, from Detroit, you've seen the top three teams from Houston. We're gonna put them head to head um, on the uh, and create another straw poll to find the winner, and that's gonna be on our Discord, um, uh, the uh, first updates now Discord. So be sure to join that uh, and um, j vote for your favorite team over there. Um, yeah. But going back into this team, like. It's 
I feel like under uh, they have a really, really insanely successful design um, oriented build season, and they just know exactly where to shave off those seconds, right? They know right. where to um, where to cut down and mm-hmm. be the best team in that regard. Um, yeah. And I think that that's just something that's so underrated, um, and that's something that serves them so well year after year, like last year and this year, they're able to do it so successfully. Right. Something that I really like about Gluten Free this year is how much of their driver controlled period is automated. Mm, like yeah. their drivers do very, very little, which is mm. really interesting. And I'm interested to see how that does the field. But mm-hmm. even just in practice, it's crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Um but look <laughs> I, I want to start with the autonomous, like if you don't mind. Yeah. Like, hey, go with <laughs> like <laughs> oh my God. How like that, that's just insane. Like I, I it, it's uh, again they're they're definitely uh, shaping out to be a very top team in this uh, in this regard. They they know oh, what yeah. they're doing. And they're gonna be and they're gonna be up there. So definitely <laughs> uh, excited to see what they put out um, at championships and hopefully um, hopefully luck plays in their favor or luck doesn't play against them. Mm. I'll say it. Like I know Shashir, you mentioned earlier in the show about how like the all black robot designs look so cool, and I think gluten free really, uh, really like portrays that with their design. This year. I mean, it's a very, very nice looking robot as always. Actually, the rollers in the beginning of the season, like the ones that help them uh, land, were green, yeah. right? So yeah, uh, yeah. They, they've really taken that to heart. They want to be yeah. that real presence on the field uh, yeah. by all black everything. Uh, everyone's taking a book from one, uh, taking a page out of 148's book over here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Right. Not that they need to look intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> they just have to score intimidating. They just have to be there. Everyone's like, yeah. oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah. So, um, so do, you, uh, do you guys have anything else to say? Because, like, they, well, they thing by thing far... Noticed, oh, sorry. Yeah, what's up? There, yeah, there's been um, speculation about, like, that double arm, like, and one of them has angled those types of bots, like not being as effective with, like, defense being played by a solid depot bot. And, like, I mean, I'm wondering, like, do you guys have anything to comment about that? So I'll comment with my personal experience. Um, at our state championship, we had a double ang- uh, double arm bot. Um, they were really, really good when they didn't face defense. Like, honestly, like, such a high-scoring robot. But unfortunately, when they... Pl- uh, when pl- defense was played against them because just like gluten free it was a one button everything like i was talking to their um their uh, their captain their main guy and he was like yeah we, I, I just push a, I, I push a button and it um and it just and it, it and it's gone right everything happens um but i feel like the unfortunate reality about that is if um if your robot isn't in less than optimal position you push that right. button and you lose all the points that you could have got right right definitely mm-hmm. yeah so um yeah, do you guys have any thoughts about what how what's it, what it's going to shape up over there, like in terms of how the match is going to be played? Well, I mean, their division definitely looks like a very intimidating division. So, I mean, I think we might see some good defense, but as we were, as we've been talking about all night, is that like those mechanum bots are really meant to just score as fast as they can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I am really, really interested to see how their division stacks up. Um, like, the top four or five teams at Detroit landed in Edison this year. So that'll definitely throw a wrench into the works, especially looking at the fi- event finals. Mm-hmm. We may see some pretty unbalanced alliances. But Absolutely. There's only one way to find out. That's very true. That's very true. So I want to ask... You've seen everything. We've seen all 15 reveals, both Houston, both Detroit, both non-championship team. Um, what do you guys think? What's your favorite? Reveal video or yeah. robot? Yeah, reveal video slash robot. Uh, you can be both. Mm-hmm. Upper Creek had a very nice, uh, nicely designed video, but I think the uh, Quantum Robotics, that was just wow. Like yeah, There was a lot of effort definitely put into that. With a lot of like animation, and I think I think that was one of my favorites, if not the program. Totally. Um, for me, like, okay, obviously, like, I'm I'm not totally unbiased here. <laughs> that was one of the submissions, but I mean, regardless of that, like, uh, sweeping that one uh, away, like, for me, I think that, I think that, gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have to try that hard. Like, like you see what? Like they just were like, all right, this is our robot. 
here's your here's our robot and that was that was pretty nice to me but uh, of course from like a technical and aesthetic point of view i truly loved um uh, i truly loved upper creek's robot reveal right um i just they consistently like their frc team obviously is so well known for their videos their ftc team is also coming out with these high quality videos after every single tournament um i just love seeing how they're how they're stacking up with that so definitely upper creek is one of my favorite robot reveals I was a big fan of Apple Creeks too. Like their videos this year have been really nice, and it's cool to see that this is a different guy than does their FRC videos. So there's mm-hmm. a lot of talent in that program in just video editing. Yeah. It's crazy. I also was a big fan of Quantum. They were really mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. And Atomic Gears was my other favorite. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So um. Yeah, so because uh, so we've seen that, and now um, so we're gonna have our um, we're going to be uh, we're gonna take a look at our straw poll right now. This is basically where we're going to end with our ranking. So in first place uh, in, in for Detroit, we have Team One 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 Five Gluten Free, uh, pr- pretty clearly like they were really good. Um, second place we have Team uh, Pixelated, um, and in third place we have Team Quantum Mechanics. So these are the three teams. Oh, quantum, quantum, sorry, quantum robotics. I, I don't know. I always like <laughs> uh, mess up certain <laughs> words. Yeah. Um, but definitely. So these are our three teams that are um, facing off with our three Houston teams. Um, we're going to make that straw poll. We're going to get that to you guys um, on our Discord. So it's it's the first updates now Discord. Um, so join up over there and um, be sure to join and, uh, and vote for your favorite team over there. And uh, we're going to determine a winner based on these six teams. So um, uh, um, uh, Ethan, you want to go ahead? I think, do we have a giveaway to still roll? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, we got to do that. Right. The t-shirt drawing from our friends uh, out at Romania, the Quantum Robotics team. Uh, so quantum was the keyword for that, and our winner is going to be, uh, unfortunately, somebody who's not following, which means, guess what? You don't win. We're going to re-roll. So sorry about oh. that. Uh, sorry, not sorry. Uh, but the real winner is going to be uh, Adrian Joe. Congratulations. Uh, you have won uh, the awesome t-shirt. Uh, so... Do me a favor, uh, you specifically, please let me know if you'll be at the Detroit Championships, and if not, uh, need your mailing address uh, for that as well. By the way, anybody who wins, please make sure we need your first name, last name, uh, address, city, zip code, state, all that fun stuff like that, province, wherever you're from. So uh, make sure you give us that, and congratulations uh, for uh, winning, and uh, thanks for following us, and uh, thank you to all of our subscribers as well, too, today. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um... Before we wrap up tonight's show, we want to tell you what's in store for the rest of uh, this season. Um, so next Monday, before Houston Champs, we're going to be having the preview shows. Um, we're going to be having the preview show for both Houston and Detroit, where we're going to really be looking at these top teams and going into more strategy. We're not going to be going too much mm-hmm. about the videos and the reveals, um, but we're really going to be talking about what we're going to see, what we think we're going to see, how we think our divisions are going to end up, who's making Minimate, who's making Ford Field, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a real, real, um, it's going to be an all encompassing event. It's going to be really cool. So, um, Definitely tune in next Monday to catch that. I think that's the 15th. Um, yeah. And, um, and so, we, af- oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, and uh, you, you, uh, we just want to say thank you to so much to this community for our insanely successful inaugural FTC reveal night. And we couldn't have done it without the support of all of you guys. And we hope to expand the program in years to come. So Absolutely. on behalf of myself, Shashir, Abbas, and Nathan, who's on vacation, we'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. If you want to keep up with what we do here on Fun FTC, follow us at Fun FTC on Facebook and Instagram. And join our Discord through the link in the chat. We do this for you guys, so let us know your thoughts and tell us how we can improve. With that, be sure to check our show out this Monday. See you guys. Bye. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support Fun Live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping Fun loud, live, and independent.